So a question that I get all the time is, how do you do a track mat in Nuke? So in After Effects, you would just take your black and white image, place it on top, or if it had an alpha channel, you can place it on top as well. Um, put the image that you want to cut out on the bottom, and then you would just go over to your track mat uh, column and then select uh, alpha mat or invert alpha mat. But how do you do this in Duke? So let's take a look. So this is the basic setup that will get you identical to uh, After Effects. So you would take that same black and white image or alpha channel and you would take the sky or the bottom image and you would use the shuffle copy node and that will get you the track mat function. And you're also going to need a pre-mult node and I'll explain to you why in a second. Now after you have that it'll punch out the sky and you'll get the results that you want and then you could just take a merge node and merge over another image to composite over it. So let me show you how this was done. So I just have a reformat node just to keep it so that they're both the same size. And the shuffle copy node works pretty much the same way you would do it as the merge node which is A over B. A would be the number one and that would be your black and white image and B would be your bottom image. And then you could just pump it in. So right off the bat, you look at it and you say, well, I don't see any difference. What happened? And if you go over to the alpha channel, you'll see that it has an alpha channel. But it's not showing up when you look at it. Why is that? Well, that's where the pre-mult node comes in. So we're going to need a pre-mult. And instantly you see that gives you the results that you need. And you can see it's in the alpha channel as well. So this is basically the same. You'll get the identical setup. And if you wanted to invert it, you could just take an invert node, place it in here, and that'll give you the invert of what you needed. But I'm going to get rid of that for a second. But what if it didn't have an alpha channel? What if it was just a black and white image? How would that work? Well, I pumped it in. I'm still not getting the results. And we have a pre bolt node in it. And we're still not getting the results. And if I look in the alpha channel, I don't even see it this time. So what's going on here now? Well, that's because with the shuffle node, you're going to need to shuffle out the where it has an alpha, and you're going to have to move this down into either the blue channel or the green or the red. It doesn't matter at that point, but you must get it out of the alpha channel column and switch it over, and then that'll get you the results. So again, if it's just a black and white image, you're going to need to shuffle this out from the alpha channel by default into one of the other channels. Um, if it has an alpha channel already, then you don't really need to do that. You can just leave it as default and it works fine. And that's pretty much it. If uh, you have any questions or comments, please visit my website at the link below. Thanks again for watching.